Hey there, Mikhailzer here with Toasty DIY, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to use Excalibur in Premiere, and if you want to link that to your Stream Deck to help optimize your workflow. So first off, what is Excalibur? It's a plugin for Premiere. I'll show you right here. When I hit, for me, it's Control Space, it brings up this Excalibur window, and let's say I had this clip that I wanted to edit right here, and I wanted to add a Gaussian Blur. Typically, I'd have to come over here. Uh, you see I already was starting to type it. Type in Gaussian Blur and drag the clip over. It takes only about five seconds, but when you're working on this day in and day out, it can be a lot of time added up. So what I'll do instead is as I'm watching the clip, I can hit that Excalibur or unsheath it as the program calls it, and I can type in Gaussian Blur, and boom, I've got the effect. It's now added on my panel here, and I can go ahead if I want to blur out Jackson's face. But if we want an easier way to do it, that's what Excalibur does. So if we want to make it even easier than that, what we can do is go into Excalibur settings. So for me, that's Control-Alt-Space. And here we are. So you can see I've set up custom commands on my Stream Deck. And how I've done this is by setting shortcuts that are very obscure or weird. So like Control Shift 6 is not for anything else, or Control Alt Plus, uh, anything like that. So what you can do is take those. And if you have Stream Deck, you find that software here. You can go in and you see I've made a little folder called Shots. And so if I want to reset the shot, this runs the command that I have built into Excalibur just straight into the computer, and it'll pick up on Premiere. And so you can set up pretty nice things. So Excalibur has the function to kind of layer different commands on top of each other. So if we were to go ahead and load up one of my commands, so I have rzoom 150 to 100, and what this does is it takes the command and it's going to go through and literally reverse out the clip. And what I mean by reverse out is going to start zoomed in at 150 as the keyframe is going to pull it back. And I have that set to Control Shift 5. So if I were to go over to my Stream Deck and apply that to this, let's see, reverse zoom far. It's going to zoom in, and as the clip goes, you're going to watch it slowly zoom out. Ooh. Yep, you can see it's slowly zooming out. And this is good for like B roll shots of different products or whatnot. Helps you save some time. I also have ones that may, for instance, you know, punch into the right, because that's where. Matt always stands, or I can punch into the left. However you want to do it, but you can see the keyframes are being adjusted, so you do usually want to use only one effect at a time. Uh, and if you do too many, you can always undo your keyframes, and that'll do it for you. As far as the icons for the Stream Deck thing, I, I do recommend if you go in here, you can easily go to add a different icon, and you can find all sorts of different libraries of them, so you can have exactly what you want. But that's the basics of how to go ahead and link it up. You just create your macro through this menu here by going to add user command and then you could say reverse zoom medium far and I'll go ahead and add a command and say you know position and I want it to go to you know normal would be you know let's call it 1980 by 2560 something like that and I could hit OK and apply that by then going to Streamlabs and go to here and to hotkey and assign whatever I've set that keystroke to be. And that's all. That's a quick rundown of how to use Excalibur through your Stream Deck.